All right, the first one we're going to be taking a look at is EWLL. Uh, like I said, we have not looked at this one before, so this is going to be uh, pretty interesting. I'd like to learn a little bit about what's going on here because the stock is traded at nine cents. Uh, right now, I'm going to take a look out of here. So, considering the fact that we haven't went through this before, let's go ahead and draw some lines on here. Be right there around that line. Okay, there we go. So you guys see it coming down right now. Uh, that red line is going to be at nine zero nine five three. Uh, if that doesn't hold, it's really going to depend on a few things here. But let me grab the line now. Probably bring that down. Yeah, let me get that right there. Perfect. Perfect. So that's going to be much better. Uh, guys, basically what you're going to be looking for right now um, is this area to hold. If the selling pressure continues, I think in my personal opinion that you're going to come down to uh, 0782 area, it really depends on that buying. You guys are going to be watching for that stuff. Right now, uh, there seems to be a lot more uh, selling than buying, which is going to be pretty obvious here. And it's coming out weak volume uh, for sure. So you guys come up right here back in, uh, what is that? Beginning of December. You guys come up, uh, gapped up and literally ran, come back down to the support line, took off. Come back, back back down to the 20 day simple moving average, which paid, uh, played a decently key role. Uh, broke through the 30 day simple moving average and came down that support and just bounced off of that, as you see. And you took off right here. Got up to that 30 day simple moving average, uh, became a rubber band and pushed you guys back down under it. Right now, honestly, you guys are going to have to wait for uh, more solid buying to come in here and keep an eye on that support level. Uh, that's going to put you at, uh, like I said, 0754 area-ish. It can uh, vary, but I try to put this based on all the previous prices right there. So now it looks like it's flatlined, but let's pay attention to the buying pressure. It started getting some buying the other day, but you're going to need some more high volume buying. And Joe, you can take over from here. That's all I got. All right, so E-Wellness Healthcare Corporation is on the QB. The ticker symbol EWLL is the first physical therapy, therapy telemedicine company to offer insurance reimbursable real-time distance monitor treatments. Their business model is to license our PHZIO platform to any physical therapy clinic in the U.S. and or have large-scale employers use, use our PHZIO platform as a fully PT monitored corporate wellness program. The company's PHZIO home physical therapy exercise platform has been designed to disrupt the 30 billion physical therapy and 8 billion corporate wellness industries. PHZIO redefines the way physical therapy can be delivered. PHZIO is the first real-time remote monitored one-to-many one physical therapy platforms for home use. Due to the real-time patient monitoring feature, the PHZIO platform is insurance reimbursable by payers such as Anheim Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So that's the, uh, they're about, their uh, latest press release was on January 31st, and it was PHZIO telehealth, telehealth interview on PT Tech Talk. So you can see that right there. And then, um, I'm guessing they were interviewed on that day. Yeah, so they were interviewed live. So, I mean, I think you could probably go back and, and watch that interview, get a better understanding of it. I'll, uh, I'll provide a link to it within the, um, within the stream. That's yeah, it's up there. So you can watch this interview. All right. Um, that's pretty much it, Dave. Okay. Uh, E W L L. If you guys follow this one, you know, more information, uh, your your opinions on it we'd love to hear it head over to investorshangout.com check out the live stream at investorshangout.com forward slash live